Hey guys, so we're gonna go on a trip to Crater Lake and a little girl's trip and we just wanted to show you things that we did, places that we see, so come along with us. All right, so as we were driving to Crater Lake, we came upon a toll booth and there was an entrance fee. It's $15 per person on top of a $25 fee for a car and they don't pay cash, so you gotta keep that card on you. We, we made, made it to the lodge! Hi guys, we're here at Crater Lake National Park, located in Oregon. The park is about 183, 244 acres, and the climates are relatively cool with 70 degree summers and the average of 35 degree winters. Mmm, checking in made me famished. I know a cafe in Rim Village we can head to. Alright, now that we've eaten all of our food, we decided to leave at 11.20 so we could do a 10 minute walk you know, leisurely walk to the next place, which is going to be a trolley. So you have to arrive 30 minutes early. So we're getting there at 11.30 with a trolley tour at 11.12. Hey, how much is a trolley ticket for one adult? It's $36 per adult. Great. I'll have three adult tickets, please. Awesome. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us on this trolley tour. Some history about the park, Crater Lake was actually created by a volcano named Mount Mazama that erupted 7,700 years ago. This volcano collapsed into itself and filled with snow and rain for 450 years, creating the actual lake. Here at Crater Lake, we have 70 plus species of mammals. It's your average forest animals with bears, bats, elk, deer, mountain lions. Here at Crater Lake, we have multiple different types of terrain. We have forest, grasslands, meadows, and wet meadows. Many of the plant species here are wildflowers, trees, grasses, dry grasses, and algae. Our geology here is incredible with Mount Mazama at the heart of the park. So after the trolley tour, we decided that we wanted to stretch our legs a little bit and do something active. So we all um, got our little bikes and rode around on East Rim Drive. After that bike ride, we were famished, so we decided to head to the lodge, get some dinner, and call it a night. Here's some pictures of what we ate. Okay, so on the second day, we woke up bright and early at 7 in the morning to go to Wizard Island all day. We filled our backpacks with everything we could need for the day, and then we headed it up to Rim Village for breakfast again, and then hit the road to Cleetwood Cove. Okay, so we just got to the trail, and it was about an hour-long car drive, and then we're going to head down the trail, and it's supposed to be around 30 minutes and very steep, so bring your good hiking shoes. Hey guys, we did our hike down. It was about a 30-45 minute hike, but we're here now. There's a couple people waiting, and the boat will be here soon to take us to Wizard Island. Alright, so on the boat tour, they pretty much just dropped us off at the island and gave us free range to do whatever we wanted. So while we were there, we, we've been doing a lot of active stuff, like biking to the trails and then hiking down. So we just wanted to take a chill pill, and we decided to swim for a little bit. And once we were done swimming, we started fishing, and we ended, up, we ended up catching a salmon that we ate for lunch. So that was amazing. Um, and then we did a little bird watching and decided to head back, and that took up most of the day. So five o'clock, we, we were back. Hey guys, we decided to sleep in today since we were so busy yesterday. So it's about 10.30 now. We're gonna head out to the Mazama Village store and get some snacks so we can picnic by the Polikni Falls waterfall. We're gonna climb the trail and we'll see you then. All right, so we're gonna bike to the Polikni Falls trail and it's estimated around like 20 to 25 minutes. And so we'll see you when we get there. We arrived at the trailhead at 11.30 and then we did a 45 minute hike and got to the waterfall at 12.15. And we did our little picnic. It was great, we enjoyed it. And now we're gonna go take some pictures of some wildlife. We'll show you guys here. Hey guys, while we were at the waterfall, we overheard some other hikers talking about how Mount Scott was really worth the visit. So we decided to take our bikes and bike there. We got there around 12.20 and because um, it was very scenic, we ended up staying for around three hours. Lots of beautiful sights to see. It's actually the highest point in the, um, the national park. So once we were done, we headed back and it was about we kind of took a leisurely pace on our bikes and made it back to Rim Village at around 5.20. After getting back at 5.20, we decided to get a snack, start packing our bags, 
and hit the road.